Hello, I am Rose and welcome to my channel, The Crafty Blue Rose. In today's class, part of the how-to series, I'm going to learn about envelope makers. Um, the envelope makers are a godsend when you are making custom sized cards. Um, this uh, envelope maker that I have here is the We Are Memories. And the advantage is that they have these um, measurements here. The first column would be the card size. The middle column would be the paper size that you need to have to make the envelope. And the third is the score line. For the score line, it gives you these different measurements here. And then on the score line would be which of the measurements here you want to use to make the envelope for the size of card. One thing that you need to have into consideration here is it says the final envelopes will have an approximately one eighth of an inch margin on all sides. So if you have the card, for example, a card that's four by four, the final size will be four and one eight by four and one eight just give it that one eighth of an inch um like margin or wiggle for you to so the card is not very tight it's gets into the envelope uh easier right <clears throat> so let's um this comes with its own stylus it's easier it has a very um good um, uh, open that you won't lose it hopefully you won't I lose everything okay so let's make the first one for a test okay now I have this paper that is uh, six by six six by six here will give me an envelope of three and a half by three and a half. And I need to use, um, starting the score line on three, okay? So we get the paper, we put it on there here, and then we look the measurement here on three. Right? On three. Okay, now let me put it down so I can finish okay first you put uh, after you find out the size that you need you know, it says that by six by six for an envelope three and a half by three and a half I need to score start scoring on the line of three so I put it on three punch this has a punch here that will give a groove on the paper so it would be better for it to fold and there would be a better shape of an envelope right it has the score line here so i would start from the bottom because here i don't see right so start here at the bottom putting a little bit of pressure slowly going up here i'd like to go down again to make sure so if you see we have the score line here and the notch that is perfect um punched here now what we do for the next we just turn the paper counterclockwise and I'm going this little nub that the uh, envelope maker has here we need to align that with the score line that we just did so the score line is here let me identify with a little uh, paper pencil so it's here so we need to this nut notch here nozzle we need to put it here punch and full score here okay, now we turn again counterclockwise Score lines here, so you can see it better. A 
line this. Punch. Score. And then the last one is right here. Still we um align. You notice that uh, little punch that we made here, the last line, it goes through that because that is where we need to fold the envelope, right? So we're done here. This is the final result. It's a square because the card was three and a half by three and a half. And it has the little notches, okay? So let's check. And final size, it's three and three quarters by three and three quarters. So it's giving us that size, the wiggle size, and one eighth of an inch in each side. Okay, now, yes, folding outside. In here, okay. our envelope. Another thing that has here is here on the back, it has a place where you can put the, the tip of your envelope. Kind of to round it, put it in. I cannot do anything with my wrist hand. There, you see? Um, kind of like rounds the tip. So normally I round only on two sides. So I round the bottom one, so it would be kind of like a clean look here. And um, round the top one, so it would be nice when we close. Okay. Yes, that is perfect. Now we're gonna try with a bigger um, paper. So this is eight and a half. So eight and a half would be an, uh, an envelope four and a half by six. This could be a good example because it's not the same measurements. So it will be a rectangle. So we need to score a eight and a half by eight and a half. So this is eight and a half. And our score uh, line would be in three and three quarters. So we're gonna do Three and three quarters is here. I marked them with um, different colors so I would be able to find it easier. So it's three and three quarters. And we punch and we score. Mm -hmm. Because this is not a too pointy. I, I can score twice without ripping the paper, okay? So, now we go here. The score line is here. So now we punch and score. Now turn again. Align the nozzle with the line, punch, and score. Now turn counterclockwise again. Then we go into the 
Let's see, last one. And the last one. That's here. So now, as you can see, it's a rectangle. It's not a square like the other one, right? It's just a rectangle. So in these tips, in the top and the bottom one, And there you have it. Perfect envelope. Doesn't that make your life easier? Oh, yes. Okay, now I am going to show you, as promised before. So I want to say this is the back of the scoreboard. Remember in the previous uh, class, we talked about the score fold that has um, like an envelope maker in the back, right? So here, let me show you closer. Here is the standard size of the card. This is the card finish size. So when the card is finished, we look for the finish size here. Then the card started with a paper measuring seven inches by 10 inches. It's 10 inches because it's a five and a seven, so five would be double, so we can score in the middle and get the card five by seven. Here's uh, the size of the envelope when it's finished, and now it says that start with a paper this size. Okay, so I have the paper cut eight and a half by eight and a half, so we're going to be making an envelope for a four one quarter by five and a half. That is a normal A2 card. Okay, so if we are going to, it's an A2 and eight and a half by eight and a half. Okay, so it's A2. The scoring lines that I need to check is this one here, that is the A2. Two here on the side, it would be the A2 as well. Here, A2 here, A2 and A2, A2. So we need to score on all those lines. Here, you don't have to move the paper around, you just Put it in, and that's it. Mm -hmm. So in here, okay. So we have the eight and a half uh, inches paper for an A2 card. So let me show you closer. There are this dotted line here. You have to align the paper here with the dotted line every side here and here with those lines right because those are the lines that is the paper need to be aligned before making the scores so we're making an a2 going here a2 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 and a2, a2 here a2. excellent you know that we have it uh, align the paper on the dotted lines. We need to score on the lines that it says that is the A2. So here is this one that is the A2. So I'm going to oops, you see, yes, I I broke the paper there. 
here. I do would be this one. Sometimes you encounter a little um, resistance, but that would be the fibers of the paper that you are going against. Now the ink too is this one. Now, with scissors, you see this, there is a little triangle that is in each corner. You have to cut out those triangles. This goes like here, and here. those lines making it way easier to fold and take the shape of an envelope the round corners but that's not really necessary for the folding of the of the envelope okay excellent now you know how to use the back of your scoreboard or directly the envelope maker okay and this is all for today's class if you have a question suggestion for a class or just to say hi please give a comment in the section below. And if you like the content of this channel, please subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications every time we post a class. Please give us a thumbs up. Thanks for spending, spending this time with me. See you in another class. Until then, stay crafty.